like the Hotel California in the Eagles song of the same name, Liverpool Football Club can be a difficult place to leave. In recent years, several big-name stars have checked out but not all of them got to depart quite as soon as they'd like. In 2004, Dollar Tevi MBE handed in a transfer request only to remain at the club for another 11 years. And in 2013, Luis Suarez tried to hand in his room key and was convinced to stay for another year. More recently, just on Friday afternoon in fact, Philippe Coutinho responded to a Fenway Sports Group statement that the club's definitive stance is that no offers for Philippe will be considered and he will remain a member of Liverpool Football Club when the summer window closes by emailing a transfer request to the club. The Brazilian wants to move to Barcelona and is frustrated that Liverpool have turned down two bids from them. Exactly how definitive the definitive stance being taken by Liverpool's owners turns out to be remains to be seen, but it's likely to run and run, so fans are advised not to pitch up on Sky Sports News burning their expensive number 10 replica shirts just yet. Meanwhile in offices all over London, Arsenal fans are wasting valuable office time and resources printing off the sheets of angry A4 in preparation for their Premier League opener against Leicester at the Emirates. Also suffering the stress that comes with worrying about talented South Americans who would rather be somewhere else playing for a potential title winners and be more money, they will at least be able to put the worries behind them until the first reams of Wenger out held up in protest after Kelly Chihina chose 16th minute opener. Considering Arsene Wenger's side have won just one of the past seven opening league fixtures, expectations should not be particularly high against Craig Shakespeare's side. But these are Arsenal fans we're talking about, so they will be ridiculously high. Anything less than victory will prompt more tedious bickering and calls for the Frenchman to pack his bags, check out and head for the door marked at door 1 live on big website join Barry Glenn Denning from 7.45pm British summer time for hot MBM coverage of Arsenal 21 Leicester City. Quote of the day I acknowledge the timing and manner of what I said was ill judged. My words were not meant to offend and for that I would like to apologise. It also like to wish the lads good luck ahead of Sunday's game against Newcastle. Base soccer agency Danny Rose pours some cold PR on Thursday's hot take about Spurs only signing players who you have to Google. Mauricio Pochettino's response I forgive that. For me, let's move on. Recommended listening join Max Rushton and co for Football Weekly Extra. Support The Guardian, producing The Guardian's thoughtful, in-depth journalism. The stuff not normally found in this email, obviously, is expensive, but supporting us ISNT. If you value our journalism, please support us by making a one-off a recurring contribution. Fiverr Letters Can you help me as a Saints fan? Am I experiencing schadenfreude or ironic elation? Pete Thompson. Further to yesterday's fiver, and unfashionable though it may be to mention nasty leads in a Premier League context, but actually Spurs did not develop Danny Rose. The famous nasty Leeds academy of the early noughties did so that Spurs could acquire him in a fire sale, Vincent Denham. Apropos Mark Burbeck's flame and gripe that he can't watch nasty Leeds matches live any more fiver. Let us pass him he should be comforted by one thing. As a Sydney-based flame and nasty Leeds fan who grew up in Yorkshire, I might add I also subscribe to NLUTV and generally catch up on the overnight extended highlights of matches first thing at work when I log on. Due to the almost complete apathy towards proper football in this neck of the woods, I can safely turn on the radio TV in the morning and walk to work with my eyes and ears open without fear of hearing the result in advance. At least there's no chance of a likely lads moment in this neck of the woods, Alastair McGilvray. Send your letters to the dot boss at theguardian.com. And if you've nothing better to do you can also tweet the fiver. Today's winner of our priceless letter oath day is, Pete Thompson. News, bits and bobs A Hong Kong pro-democracy activist says he was beaten and had his legs stapled by Chinese agents because he was planning to send a signed photo of Lionel Messi to Lucia, the widow of Nobel Peace Prize laureate Lucio Bo. Entertainment's Tony Pallas has signed a new contract to stay at West Brom until 2019. I'm delighted, he roared, because it continues the stability which is essential for progress. This ISNT the cost to Smeralda tone. Photograph Matthew Ashton AMAWBAFC via Getty Images Antonio Conte says HES absolutely fine about Chelsea's transfer activity and definitely won't use the media to pressure the club.
I don't like to send a message through the press, he told the press. But the club knows very well my opinion. They try to do the best. FIFA bid inspectors are eyeing Morocco's top boutique hotels after the country lodged a bid to host the 2026 World Cup, rivaling a joint effort from Mexico, Canada and the USA 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 EFL suits say Thursday night's Milk Cup draw bungle WASNT as bad a bungle as it seemed. There was some confusion as to the home or away status, they tutored. The draw was in no way compromised. Roma have told Leicester to forget about trousering over the odds for Riyad Mahrez. We made our fair offer, the biggest in the club's history and we won't bid again, honked director of football Munchie. Now we wait. Frank de Boer insists dubious Palace players are starting to believe his message about passing. Every ball you play, you play with an idea. I never played a ball without an idea, he for should. Do I play it hard because it is between the lines? Do I play it on his right foot because then I know he has to turn that way? Every pass has a message. That is the person I was as a player, and that is what I demand from my players. Stoke have signed Bruno Martins Indy on a permanent deal. And good news for Norwich fans former hero Ricky Van Wolfswinkel HASNT lost his touch. The recap sign up and receive the best of big websites coverage every Friday, it says here. Seems to be a curious lack of mentions for the fiver. Still want more do Arsenal face a must-win game already. It's one of 10 things to ponder ahead of the Premier League's opening weekend. Get your 10 things while they're lukewarm. Composite Getty Images, Reuters, Action Images via Reuters Action Plus via Getty Images Leicester have splashed the cash this summer but expectations of the former champions are suitably low, writes Stuart James. The summer of the ludicrously expensive fullback reveals plenty, not only about the Premier League's seemingly interminable slush of money but also the success of Antonio Contest title winning tactics, observes floating brain in a jar Jonathan Wilson. Brighton fullback Liam Rossinier is our new resident columnist and on his big website debut he explains why playing Premier League football can often be an easier gig than the championship. How to stay in the Premier League Don't sign Rudy Gersted, advises Simon Burton in his survival guide. All 20 team guides from our season supplement can be found here. Plus the last of our clubby club previews gossips, sailors West Brom in West Ham. All Barney Ronnie asks of the new season gods is big cup success to cheer, an underdog story to get behind and a title race thriller to keep us entertained. Oh, and if it's your thing, you can follow Big Website on Big Social Face Space. And I-N-S-T-A-C-H-A-T, too so close you can touch IT.